So this one is a question paper related to questions from uh, digital electronics or electronic digital circuits. Figure uh, one, 10.1, name the component. So look, if it is, if these arrows were not there, then it is called a diode. But when they represent the arrows, it means it is emitting out light. So we call that as a light emitting diode or you can, in short, you can say LED. Then in a space below, draw a symbol for a NOT gate. So what is the circuit symbol for a NOT gate? NOT gate, which is an inverter. So we represent by a triangle and a dot, which represent a NOT gate. Then figure 10.2 shows a digital circuit, complete the truth table. So you have to first identify the gates. This one is the AND gate and AND gate, you get the result by multiplication. And this one is the OR gate, you get the result by addition. So this first will complete column C, so zero multiply by, because A and B, the product so this will be zero, this will be zero, this will also be zero, this will be zero, 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 one, one. And how this is a OR gate, OR gate we get result by addition. So C plus D, so zero plus zero, this will be zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, one, one. So for OR gate, we get the result by addition, whereas AND gate, we get the result by multiplication. So that's why output of A and B is because it is C that is by AND gate, so multiplication and output of C and D is through OR gate, so that is by addition. Then suggest uh, a modification to a circuit in figure 10.2 for output Z the truth table below, it may help you to compare the truth table in B. So when we compare the two truth table, you can see the output, the output is only high when both inputs, like the result of these two is high and the D is also high. So whenever both inputs are high, then only output is high, otherwise it is always low. So which logic gate is this? So it means this OR gate, now if this OR gate is replaced by and gate. That's why when both inputs are high, we are only getting a high output. So simply we can say the OR gate in the figure is replaced by the AND gate. That's why we are getting a different output. Then in question two, Figure 11 point shows uh, the logic gate. You can understand either from truth table or from symbol that it resemble with letter D. So it is the end gate. And the second one, it is a NOR gate because this one is OR and NOT. So it is a NOR gate. And how we get the result for NOR gate first it's by addition and then invert. So zero plus zero is zero but passes to inverter, make it one. One plus zero is one, but passes to inverter, make it zero. Zero plus one is zero, passes to inverter, make it. Zero plus one is the one, passes to inverter, make it zero. And one plus one is one. In terms of logic gate, one plus one is one, like the output will be high, but because passes to inverter, it will make it zero. Then figure 11.3 shows a system of a logic gate used to ensure the security of a strong room of a bank. The strong room doors will only open when the output F is one. Complete the table to show a logic state of A, B, C, D, and E when the strong room can be open. So we want this output to be one. If you want this output to be one, it means the input, of, because this is the AND gate, AND gate, Output will only be one if the inputs are high. So D and E 
should be one. So D should be one, E should be one. And this is also AND gate. So how D output can be one if both inputs are one. So A should be one and B should also be one. And what about this is a NOT gate. So if NOT gate output is one, so it means input should be zero. So it will be one, one, zero, one, one. So it's like doing a reverse engineering to get the final answer. So if I want this output to be one, both inputs should be one for end gate. But when I want again, same thing, if I want output to be one, both input should be one for end gate. And if I want output of a not gate to be one, so its input should be zero. So A should be one, B should be one, C should be zero. D, should, D will be one, E will also be one. Figure 8.1 is a schematic diagram of uh, electronic circuit controlling a lamp. The output of uh, temperature sensor is one when it detects the rise in temperature and the output of a light sensor is one when it detects the light. The lamp is lit when the output of a relay is high. Complete the uh, table to give the output of A and B so A is connected to a light sensor. So this one is a light sensor. So if it is zero, A will be one. If it is zero, one. One, zero, one, zero. And B, the output of a B, that depends on like example, because this is the end gate, end gate, we get the result by multiplication. So zero into one, zero, one, 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 zero, 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 and zero into one, zero. So it will only be high for one of the case, the rest it will be off. Then state the condition under which the lamp lit. So under which condition the, this lamp light up, you can see when the out, when it, the output of the light sensor is one. So it means here, uh, when the output of a light sensor is zero, it means when it is dark and when output of a temperature sensor is one, so it means high temperature. So when it is a high temperature and it is dark, that time the lamp lighter. And suggest why B is connected to a relay rather than directly to the lamps. Normally the logic gate, the output voltage or the current is very low. Like if there was no lamp, if, if there was no relay connected here and directly if it is input to the lamp, connected to the lamp, so normally the current which is coming out from these logic gates, it's a very small current. And that very small current cannot light up the lamp. So for this purpose, between them, we interface them by a relay. Relay is electromagnetic switch, which is used to operate a high current circuit by the low current circuit. So we always connect a relay for these logic gates so that the lamp can light up easily. So the answer here, the output of the logic gate is very, it's too small. So it cannot directly light up the lamp. That's why we connect a relay. So the output voltage is too low, insufficient to light up the lamp. That's why we always interface uh, or connect them by a relay. Then which gate is this? So this is the OR gate. And we have to label input. So this one is input, input, and this one is the output. Then a draw symbol for NAND gate. NAND gate is a combination of NOT and AND. And label inputs, like this one is input, input, and output.
then a very low current alternating current is applied between A and B in the circuit uh, shown in figure 10.2. On each diagram, draw possible position to indicate the need and showing the needle of an ammeter. When A is positive, B is negative. So when A is positive, B is negative, diode will block the current. If diode will block the because diode will only allow the current to pass when it is moving through the side of the P region. When it is coming from the side of the pause or N region, it will block. So if the conventional current is from positive to negative, so diode will block the current. So what will the reading on the ammeter when A is positive and B is negative? So the, this will be zero. When there is no potential difference, if there is no voltage, there will be no current. So that will also be zero. So the first case, white is zero because the diode blocked the current. The second case, white is zero because there is no voltage. If there is no voltage, there is no current as well. And the third one, when B is, A is negative, B is positive. So if A is negative, B is positive, direction of the conventional current is from positive to negative. And this time the diode will allow the current to flow. So you can show the reflection, either side you can show a deflection. That diode, because it allow the current to pass, so there will be a deflection in the, but why A and the first two are zero? Because first case the diode was not allowing any current to pass. And the second one, why it was zero? Because there was no voltage. So no voltage, no current. Diode blocked the current. The first one, no voltage, no current. And then there is a current in the circuit. In question five, figure 9.1 shows a symbol of a for a logic gate. State the name of this gate. So this is actually a NAND gate and label the input and output. So this one is input, input and output. Draw a symbol for a fuse. The circuit symbol for a fuse, a rectangular box and inside, this is how we draw the fuse. If it was a fixed resistor, then this part inside, there should be no line. And no line in between, then it was a fixed resistor. But there's a line, it means it is a fuse now. Figure 9.2 shows a circuit. A component A is not emitting light. It only emits light when the potential is greater than one volt. A change in environment around B can cause a component to A emit light. State the change in environment. So how the environment should change so that the diode can allow the current to pass. This is a thermistor. So what we want, we want greater, when the current is coming from here, we want more current in this one, in this branch, and we need less current across B. So what should happen? It means the resistance of a thermistor. If we want less current, if we want less I here, and we need more current here, so the resistance of the thermistor should increase. And how a resistance of a thermistor can be increased? Because thermistor resistance and temperature are inversely proportional. So if you want a high resistance for thermistor, so we should lower the temperature. When the temperature in the thermistor is less, most of the charges will flow through a diode. As a result, when they pass through diode, the light emitting diode will switch on or it will work. So what is the change in environment we should do? We should reduce the temperature. As a result, when we reduce the temperature, resistance increase for a thermistor and less resistance for a diode. So most of the current will flow through diode. Or you can also explain in terms of voltage, this one, what happened when the temperature decrease, the resistance of a thermistor increases. More resistance, so more voltage across thermistor and more voltage because the diode is also connected in parallel. So it will receive such higher voltage. As a result, it will work. So you can explain the circuit in terms of, explain your answer. So what I just mentioned now, that increase in temperature, sorry, decrease in temperature, 
reduce the resistance of a thermistor, uh, sorry, increase the resistance of thermistor. So most of the current will pass through diode. It will work. Then the combined resistor, uh, the combined resistance of a two resistor is four ohm. So they are in parallel. Like if I say this one is R1, this one is R2. So the combined resistance in parallel is a product divided by sum. It will be R1 multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So this is four ohm. R1 is six. R2 is R divided by sum. So it will be six plus R because this value we don't know. Then we solve this R plus six is divided. Other side will be multiplied. So it will be four into six plus R is equals to six R because six multiplied by R six R. This four is multiplied with six, six multiplied by four 24. And this four is also multiplied with R, so four R. So 24 plus four R is equals to six R. When we move four R other side, it will be 24 is equals to six R minus four R which is equals to 2R. So 24 is equals to 2R or R is equals to 24 divided by 2, which is equals to 12 ohm. So the resistance of this R should be equal to 12 ohm. And how we work out, because they're in parallel, so the combined resistance or total resistance will always be the product of the two divided by sum of the two. So this is the last question, sorry, second last question for this paper. Figure 10.1 shows logic gates complete. We have to complete for, this is an AND gate. AND gate, we get result by multiplication and OR gate, we get result by addition. So how we'll get D? D is by multiplication of A and B. So zero into zero, zero. Zero into zero, zero, one into one, one. And C, is not given, so you can select any number from your side. So we can select, like example, zero, zero, and one. It's up to you. You can select any. So if it is, and then how to get for all gate zero plus zero? It will be zero, zero plus zero, zero, and one plus one, one will be there. Then draw rec recognize symbol for a and uh, for and gate. So the symbol for AND gate resemble with letter D. The circuit symbol for AND gate. And you should always label the inputs and output. Write full input and output instead of writing I or O. NAND gate can be replaced by AND and NOT. Draw a diagram to show how AND gate and NOT gate can be connected and label the logic gates input and any output. So how AND gate and NOT gate can be connected like this is an AND gate and this one will be a NOT gate. And on the figure, these are inputs. And this one will be the output. And so NAND gate can be replaced by AND and NOT. So we will have AND gate and a NOT gate to give up the come result as NAND gate. This is the last question. Figure 10.1 is a symbol for a NAND gate. A and B, as you can see. So NAND gate, how we get the result is by multiplication and invert. So zero into zero is zero, and then passes through inverter, make it one. Zero multiplied by one is zero, passes through inverter one. One into zero is zero passes to inverter, make it one. And one into one is one, passes to inverter, make it zero. So this is a truth table for NAND gate. Then this is a, also a NAND gate when combined inputs are there, like if this is zero, this will be zero and zero multiplied by zero is zero, passes to inverter, make it one. And input C is one, so one into one, is one passes to inverter, make it zero. So if input is zero, output is one, and input is one, output is zero, it means this combined gate is acting like a 
the this is NAND gate with a common input is acting like a NOT gate. State and logic gate that behave the same. So you can say a NOT gate. In part C, the circuit combines having a three NAND gates are there. So P is zero. If P is zero, because this will be one. If Q is uh, one, Q is one, it will be zero. And zero multiplied by one is uh, zero. Passes through inverter will make it one. So output R will be one. Output S will be zero, and this will be one. So one zero one. Figure ten point one. Shows a symbol for a logic gate. Name this logic gate. So this is called AND gate. Then the symbol for a NOR gate. So this is OR, and then this will become NOR. So when you draw, so this is OR gate, but because we want NOR, so there will be a dot in front of it. And two inputs of a NAND gate are both low. What will be the output? So out zero zero is zero passes because NAND gate is multiplication and invert. So zero into zero is zero passes through inverter make it one. One output of a NAND gate is low and the other is high. So zero one is uh, zero passes through inverter make it one. And logic gate contain number of component. Which one is there in a logic gate? So basically, it is a transistor is there used in logic gates. So logic gates are combination of switch and main component is a transistor. So this was also a test from digital electronics.